You're listening to Fully Catholic Radio. Spirit, your sweet Holy Spirit, to rest upon us. We pray, O oh God, that you would send your Holy Spirit to journey with us as we go through this very holy season of Lent. We pray, O oh God, that your Spirit would so consume us that we would come to a deeper experience of your love and your mercy in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Spirit, come, come, Holy Spirit, come and abide within us, rest upon us, come, Holy Spirit. Sunday, the 21st of February, 2021, the first Sunday in Lent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. And it is taken from Mark chapter 1, verses 12 to 15. The Spirit drove Jesus out into the desert, and he remained in the desert for forty days, tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe the gospel. The gospel, the good news of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus was driven out into the wilderness by the Holy Spirit, that same Spirit that descended upon him like a dove when he was baptized in the Jordan by John. That same Spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted. 
Jesus underwent that temptation with flying colors because he was grafted to God the Father. Jesus, yes, he is God, but his humanity would have undergone that temptation and the evil one could not be victorious over him. I want to address this to, in particular, us men during this season, this year dedicated to St. Joseph. Sometimes we put ourselves in situations, in situations that leads to temptation and that leads to sin, thinking that we are man enough to handle it. The reality of it is our human nature on its own cannot. We need, as far as is humanly possible, to avoid all occasions of sin, all temptations. If one should come our way, we should turn to God immediately and ask him for his grace to overcome it. Jesus, Jesus' experience and time in the wilderness was meant to show us that we too can be victorious over temptation, but we cannot do it on our own. We have to rely on God. We have to rely on God's grace through the power of his Holy Spirit to grant us, to allow us the best version of ourselves to rise up even in the midst of temptation, to allow the best version of ourselves to come out, to be, remain grafted, to remain planted in Jesus. It is only through Christ that we can overcome the temptations and the obstacles that come our way. We cannot do it on our own. Then Jesus says something very interesting. In fact, the scripture passage continues that after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. For very, very many years, God had promised through his prophets that he would send a savior into the world. And Christmas, would have, we would have celebrated the coming of that savior into the world. But God didn't just promise that he would send his savior into the world. He promised that the savior will do particular things. And Jesus is telling us here that this time, that time was a time of fulfillment, the fulfillment of God's promise. And we know that God is always, always true to his word. Whatever God says he will do, he always, always does it. And he always does it at the right time. And then Jesus, that this passage ends with a, a sound, a sound warning. Repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the good news. There is an urgent need for repentance in our land. There is an urgent need for repentance among our men. There is an urgent need for us to turn our hearts away from sin, to turn our hearts away from selfishness, to turn our hearts away from lust, to turn our hearts away from the sins of the flesh and to turn our hearts to God. There is an urgent need. Our whole, our land cries out for conversion. Our land is crying out for repentance. Are we hearing it? Are we going to heed that call for repentance? Are we going to heed the call of the gospel for repentance, to turn away 
from sin and to believe the good news, the good news that is Jesus Christ. We pray that through the power of the Holy Spirit, that all of us be given the grace to turn away from sin, that all of us be given the grace to go on a lifelong permanent fast from sin, where we seek by the grace of God and through the power of his spirit to surrender all of our sinfulness to God so that we can truly become the men that he created us to be, so that we can become the people God created us to be, so that we can become the fathers God created us to be, so that we can become the nation that God created us to be. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.